In this video, we're going to look at very important topic in statistics, that is histogram. That is the most fundamental tool that is used in the data visualization. We look at what is histogram. We look at how to construct this histogram with the help of some relevant examples. So please stay tuned. Don't go anywhere else. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. So what is histogram? So histogram is a type of bar chart that shows the distribution of variable data as a series of bar, where x axis represents the range of data and the y-axis represents the frequency of data points within each range. It is a mathematical and a statistical representation of distribution of data. Histogram can help us visualize the shape, center, and spread of data. For shape, we have whether, whether it is unimodal, bimodal, or multimodal. If it is center, to check if it is centrally distributed for like a normal distribution, or it is negative skewed or a positive skewed, and how is the spread of the data. This is important in understanding the patterns, trends, and outliers in your data. They can show whether the data is normally distributed or skewed. The term histogram was first introduced by Carl Pearson, who is known as the founder of mathematical statistics. He measured his height and weight and found histogram to be a useful tool to deal with the statistics. It is different from bar graph, pie chart, and line chart. One such difference between histogram and bar graph is that the histogram has adjacent bars while the bar graph has some space between the bars. Now let's see how to construct the histogram. We'll use some live examples here. Let's take a simple example. Suppose that we measure the height of 50 students in the class and we get the data as this. So we want to create a histogram to represent this data. What we'll do, we'll divide the height into bins, like with each bin representing a range, particular range of height. So for example, height, from 130 to 135, 135 to 140, and so on till 160, 160 being the highest. So we now, we'll see how many fall in range of 130 to 135. We get five students actually falling in this category. Similarly, for 135 to 140, eight students are falling in this particular category. Similarly, we do it for all the categories, and we get the range of data. The total number of frequencies in last column is 50 because we are measuring the height of 50 students here. Now, let us plot the two axes, x-axis and y-axis. In the y-axis, that is the vertical axis, that represents the number of students, or in short, the number of times the value occurred in that particular interval. So, we plot the number with a difference of 2, like 2, 4, 6. We each represent the number of students. On the horizontal axis, we plot the height, which is like, in this case, we're taking the, uh, the difference of 5. So, we start with 130 being the lowest one, and up to 160 being the highest one. The difference between two heights of five. Now we start constructing the vertical bars. So for first one, the frequency range was 130 to 135 and number of students was five. So we plot the vertical graph, which comes to five. Secondly, from 135 to 140, we have eight frequencies. We plot till eight, we get the second bar. Secondly, we plot for third one, fourth, fifth, sixth. So we have plotted all the values and all the values are displayed in the bar itself. That is how you construct the histogram. Now, what do you interpret from this graph? The height of each bar that you see here corresponds to the frequency of that particular class interval. The tallest bar represents the highest range, like 145 to 150, which has maximum number of students in this category, that is 15. Indeed, the most common height range among the students is this range. The shortest bar represents the height range from 155 to 60, 160, which has three, which indicates that only three people are there which are very tall in this particular range. So this example basically helps us visualize how the data is distributed among different intervals, making it easier to identify some patterns and trends. So if you're watching this video on YouTube, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and do press that bell icon for all the notifications from digital e-learning. And if you're watching this video on Instagram or Facebook, do follow us on all these platforms. You can also look at our website for interesting articles and videos. Link for all these is given below in the description. Now is the quiz time on this topic. Read the questions and leave your answers in the comment section below. First question. What type of data is best represented by histogram? A. Categorical data, qualitative data, continuous numerical data, or ordinal data. Second question. A histogram with the best shape appearance represents which type of distribution? Uniform distribution, skewed distribution, normal distribution, or the bimodal distribution? 
क्वेश्चन थ्री इन हिस्टोग्राम द हाइट ऑफ इच बार रिप्रेजेंट वॉट द टोटल नंबर ऑफ डेटा वैल्यूज द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ डेटा वैल्यूज इन दैट इंटरवल द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ ए इंटरवल और द क्यूमुलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ ऑल द इंटरवल्स यू कैन लीव यू ऑल योर आंसर्स इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो